first thing that I learned really takes me back to something I've been curious about for a long time, which is the idea of a learning mindset. I know this is one of your core principles, and I think it's something that I don't see enough in workplaces. When I think about a learning mindset, I think about psychological safety, the belief that I can take a risk in my team without having to be afraid that I'm going to get punished. And we have a wealth of evidence that when that psychological safety exists, people are more likely to identify problems and errors and then prevent them uh, as opposed to hiding them. They're also more likely to dream up exciting new ideas and then go out on a limb and pitch them, which means innovation tends to flourish. But I have to tell you, I work with a lot of companies where leaders destroy psychological safety. And I decided recently that a picture is worth a thousand words. So instead of trying to describe the leader, let me just show you, this is my photo of a leader who shut down psychological safety. You know, actually a lot of leaders do it without realizing that they're doing it. And one thing that I hear people say often is don't bring me blank, bring me blank. Think about a boss you had maybe earlier in your career who liked to say that. Don't bring me blank, bring me blank. If you fill it in out loud, I'm guessing a lot of you are going to say the same thing, which is don't bring me problems, bring me solutions. I get why leaders say this. You want people to be creative and constructive. You don't want them to whine and complain. But I've actually come to believe this is a dangerous philosophy because if people can only speak up when they have a solution, you are never going to hear about the biggest problems that are too complex for any one person to solve. And so I've come to believe that part of having a learning mindset is being receptive to hearing problems, even if there's not a solution on the table yet. 